Well, hey Heidi. Hey. Hi, hi, Kelvin. Oh, you guys are from a long time ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hi, Heidi. Yeah. Hi, Kelvin. She's an icon Thanks. in the American comic book industry. Is that right? Yes. Well, oh, enough awesome about me. You. Enough about me. Uh, this is thanks Kelvin, for by the way. Thanks, Kelvin. Nice to meet you. Yeah, um, you. It's great. Thanks for being here with the beat today. Um, so, Gene, yes, we have been talking about this book for 13, 14 years, however long it's been out there. Uh, what's been the most exciting part of this journey now, seeing it come to be a television show? I mean, there, there are a lot of things yeah. about this that have been really crazy. Like, I, I get to call Michelle Yo Michelle now. <laughs> I keep Kwan Ki now. That's that's really nutty. And and seeing like um, panels in the book show up on screen. There's uh, this uh, moment in the first season where these two Asian American boys are talking about a toy robot. And that's straight from the book. So to see that in real life has been amazing. I do say, I, I do think though that the, the most amazing thing has been to see how creative people in another medium work, mm -hmm. you know, like like I got an up close view at Kelvin and his writing team. I got an up close view at how these actors sort of embody these characters. All of that has just been fascinating for me. Incredible. Well, Kelvin, let me ask you. I know you've been trying to bring this to you know the screen for a long time, and I, I what were just some of the the challenges or the changes, you know, the, the the different ways that you had to to adapt it to bring it to this. I mean, I think broadly, I we were just talking about this. Um, TV is changing so much, and it's changing yeah. year to yeah. year. And what people are into is, and then every once in a while we'll have a global pandemic, and then they, they people like that, <laughs> you know, a different kind of TV <laughs> because they're stuck at home. And and so you know, when we first started developing this, it was it was 2018 which, you know, doesn't seem like that long ago. And yet in TV years, like, you know, so much has changed. Disney Plus didn't exist in 2018, you right. know, and and so there's all kinds of challenges as to you, what you don't want to do is try to predict the future. You just want to make the best possible show you can make. Um, and after a lot of just running into brick walls, it's like the skies opened up and suddenly we got Destin Daniel Cretton, and he had a successful Marvel movie open right as he was agreeing to do our, our television show. He and Michelle um, have had an indie movie become the biggest thing since sliced bread. We got um, the stunt team from Captain Marvel too. We got, and so, and then, and down to, those are all the splashy, sexy things, but down to our wardrobe designer, our production designer, we got just an incredible family. Um, and it suddenly seemed like we we're going a hundred miles an hour um, but I think I would say the thing that really made me feel like we were actually going to make this show and it was going to be pretty good was when we cast our two main leads. When Jimmy mm -hmm. Liu from Taiwan and Ben Wong came on board and that we saw them together. If you didn't have that, you might as well not make the show. So when we when we saw them together and we saw the chemistry and the friendship, the real friendship these two boys have, uh, I, I kind of knew it was all for for good. We were working for the good guys. Awesome. I, I mean, you know, these stories now of the immigrant experience uh, is so important now. I mean, why do you think, what do you think this means at this moment that we're able to tell these stories, you know, able to put it on Disney Plus on such a wide platform? One of the things that I'm most excited about as a, as a reader and as a viewer, uh, encountering all these different kinds of stories from different cultures and different corners of America is I think that when you, when you read and when you watch stories that are specific, what emerges, and especially if you watch a lot of them, what emerges is like a picture of what we all hold in common. It's, it's a picture of what our common humanity is. So I, I do hope that both American Born Chinese, the book and American Born Chinese, the television series, uh, contribute to that. Awesome. Uh, I think we're are we out of time? Yeah. <laughs> um, awesome to meet you. I'll yeah, just throw awesome. one last thing about about that off of that, which is that Jean's Jean's book is really really smart. It's incredibly inspirational. Mm -hmm. It's incredibly important. But when you're reading it, it's just very fun, and it's very and it's funny, and it's and it's a good time. I've read it in one sitting, I don't know, at this point, many, many times, 10, 20 times. And uh, the hope is that the show has that same kind of effect that you're gaining a lot, you're learning a lot, you're you're growing a lot, but it's a fun watch. And so that's the hope. Awesome. Well, so thank you so much, Kevin and Gene. And good luck. Look forward to seeing the show. Thank you. Awesome to meet you. Yeah, thank good you, to Heidi. see you. Good to see you, Heidi.